Hi, this is Pat Gunn, and this is the tenth episode of my Let's Play for Fallout 4. So, um, when we left off, we were in uh, the Red Rocket uh, settlement, and I haven't really made any major changes to it since uh, since last time. I did notice that from up uh, up top, the the distance is just about perfect where if you aim down your sights with a... I don't remember, I think it, this is just some of the relatively low distance sights. Oh, interesting, you can kind of see the horizon too. It might be an artifact of the game. <clears throat> but anyhow, if you aim down the sights, then uh, the circle of, uh, of your aiming bits uh, is just about the same size as the moon, which is kind of goofy, but fun. So... Uh, one thing I did do is upgrade my companion, and now Ada didn't upgrade her a lot because I don't have the materials or the skills needed, but I gave her two ranged weapons and gave her a head that means that she's going to have an easier time shooting at a medium distance, and if we if we find more robots then we'll uh, con continue to upgrade her. We got her some uh, little bit of, uh, of extra armor on our body, but again we're limited by both our skills and by the plans that we have at hand. Um, but so a lot of this episode is going to be about her and that the general comic stuff. We have a bit of a hike to make it there and it's not going to be super easy because this is high level stuff. But we've gotten our weight down and we're ready to give it a go. But we're going to do a few other things along the way as I mentioned. So we're going after uh, general atomics we're going to try and do the Silver Shroud stuff. Uh, we might try and do Mass Pike, because I think that's where we kind of left things off. And we might do Curtain Call, but Curtain... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, do uh, Silver Shroud. But that's going to be uh, tricky, uh, at least a little bit, because there's a bit in there where I normally have done, a little, uh, done some save scumming. Basically, the practice of loading and reloading a difficult bit until I get the results I want. That's not particularly podcast friendly. It just there's a moment where there's a split second thing that can happen and you have to be super super quick in order to get the uh, the result at least that that I like to try and get. But I'll figure out what to do with that when we get closer. There are a few other uh, areas of the game where there are insanely difficult stuff that doesn't make for good podcast stuff where I literally will try and load and save quite a lot until I get it right. And I'm hoping not to need to expose you to uh, you guys to that, but oh, shoot, one of my settlements is under attack. Taffington Boathouse. Unfortunately, that's just kind of the way that this stuff goes. I didn't yet build any defenses uh, for this place, uh, or actually for most of my other settlements, so this kind of stuff definitely will happen, and when it does, you just have to just head out there and take care of it. Let's see. I arrived quick enough... Uh-oh. Shoot. Oh, they've actually managed to get all the way inside the house already, and I am stuck on some fences. Okay, well, fortunately, things are a little bit less dangerous with these. Excuse me. You showed up just in the nick of time. I was glad to help out. I can't argue with your time. Anyway. Uh huh. So, yeah, if you, uh, fortunately, settlers and most of the other critters that you're likely to face, they're not going to die if you're in the area, provided you're not the one to fire the, uh, the shot that kills them. I guess the theory there is that there's medicine and that most wounds are survivable. <clears throat> it's a nice uh, oversimplification so that you don't need to worry too much about... Uh, about your settlers, although there have been times when I've gone to defend a settlement and most of the the critters there end up dead. Oh, oh. Okay, so it looks like 
they have respawned. And there you can see that Ada is doing a whole lot better combat-wise. She's no longer useless. In fact, she's kicking ass. Which is always good to see. Um, do we? Oh, looks like we do. But, yeah, she... She's capable of taking care of a whole lot of stuff on her own now, which is pretty sweet. Now I do hear some gunfire. Ordinarily I, I wouldn't uh, bother, but there's a decent chance that those are robots. If they are, then I would like to see if I can grab some more bits. Uh, no. It is humans versus humans. It's like gunners and somebody else. Children of Adam. Okay, both of those are, are hostile. And Children of Adam are extremely dangerous. Oops. Largely because Children of Adam, they have a weapon. Oh, fudge. And this is not good. You have a weapon that just does radiation damage to you. Okay, so this will do. I gotta let Ada take care of much of that. Because otherwise I'm gonna have to use lots and lots of right away to survive this. Whoops. Sweet. Okay, so Ada took care of it, and they took care of the raiders, which means that we're just here to pick up the loot. Early, uh, early on in the game, when your resistances are low, and your foes are just capable of doing so much more damage uh, than you are, this is kind of, you just end up needing to do this a lot. Oh, by the way, so I'm, uh, I ordered some better, uh, some better, uh, or a better microphone. So that my next podcast, I know that these are by no means, uh, super well made, but I'm just having fun. And if anybody watches these, great. If nobody watches, watches these, or if people end up only watching these a whole lot later, that's okay by me. But I ordered a better microphone. Oop. To, uh, hopefully get some better sound quality. Here. Okay. Let's turn off the light. Because <laughs> otherwise the light kind of destroys any possibility of stealth. And in we go. Let's turn up. Get our silenced weapon out. We're gonna just kind of tiptoe forward. Okay. Oop, and there are raiders. asked Ada to go out, and she's kind of acting as a decoy for me. There's, there's nothing, uh, any, uh, nothing all that interesting out here, it looks like. And this is clogged up enough that it's not really possible to get too far in here. Okay. Yeah, but basically I think our task was to clear out this area. Anything that's in here. I'm seeing a whole lot. Oh, there we go. Okay, so for this, I think it would make sense to use a sniper weapon. 
go for a headshot. There we go. Excuse me. Now let's see if we can knock that thing out. Looks like they can swim, uh, spin all the way around. I, I never really was sure if they could or not. <clears throat> but in the end it doesn't really matter if you're careful enough. I suppose that's true of most things in these kinds of games. If you're not going for the brute force run and, and smash everything, but are instead going for more of a stealthy play, then really the goal of the game is to avoid being uh, being hit at all. Okay, switching back. My stealthy weapon. Like I can get some frag mines out of this experience, which is always nice because I make pretty good use of these. I I think it's fun to set traps, provoke a confrontation, and then have it continue on your terms. Okay, so looks like the ghouls managed to knock out a turret that used to be here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hold my breath. That makes sense. Okay, more frag mines in this direction. Is there a reason the hairs on the neck are standing up like that? Okay, and there actually are some ghouls up ahead. Okay, so to manage this. I could do... Oh, those are our mannequins. Pretty sure there was a ghoul in here somewhere. Okay, Ada. I'd be happy to help if I can. Excellent. You go over, over there. there. This opportunity to flush my particle filters. Get into position. <laughs> Certainly. So she'll go over there and probably provoke some stuff. There we go. Hopefully I didn't hit her. There we go, that's one less ghoul. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can shoot one of them. Oh, well. Nice one when you can manage that. I was just intending to slow it down by shooting its leg off, but if I can kill it, all the better. Definitely don't want to use that. Well, I don't know. Actually, that might be useful. Hmm. It's kind of a mixed bag. <clears throat> and that sometimes uh, stim packs aren't really the way that you would like to heal and you might have other things around you, but at the same time... Oh, there we go. Hello. We may have some trouble. Well, not if we're careful. Interesting. I don't... I don't really remember uh, this this area very well. Maybe it's an area where I generally haven't gone in past uh, Let's Plays. Like it's a storage room. Fortunately I do have advanced uh, hacking now. Let's see, records. All of these are going to be easier than they ordinarily would be because of my character's 12th intelligence, which is kind of an odd thing to have, but... <clears throat> R-E-C-O-R-D-S. This is plausible. Sweet. Oh, and it is it. Yeah, unfortunately, this takes oddly long, and you pretty much just end up staring at it for a while. Okay, let's keep moving, tiptoeing in, see what hey, goodies. Hey, come on, on me. How may I be of let's go. Was that something moving, or just a trick of the light? Stop. Don't stand Thank right. You. 
Oh, got the tattoo thing. Yeah, maybe I've never been here before. It's possible. Should be a little bit weird given how many playthroughs I've done of Fallout uh, 4. <clears throat> but I suppose it's, it's imaginable that I just never would have happened to have spotted that this, uh, this place exists. There's another corridor over there. This might also not really... More oh, rats. They are creepy. this lead? It's quite Did you hear that? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, lots of fun rad roach stuff. You get a fusion core, which is always they're eventually useful. There is there another exit to this place? Apparently there is. I've never been out this door. I know that I haven't finished uh, this quest, but I'm curious enough where this goes that I'm gonna gonna go for it to see what's uh, what can be found out here. It's possible that I have seen this area, but just never come at it from this direction. Okay, this leads to. Ooh. That's not good. Oh. Good, good that I, I have Ada here. Those mole rats, they really kind of freak me out. Which is, again, a win for immersion. Oh, I know where this is. Okay, yeah, I've I've just never had, never approached it from that angle before. We've lost them, ma'am. Yeah, ordinarily you have to do a really kind of complicated series of jumps to make it into this place, and apparently this time I just accidentally came at it from the other angle. And hooray, a steamer trunk. Although I. Maybe it's a little bit of a bummer to be to be uh, going for these at low levels because it means that the gear because the gear is always trying to be appropriate for your level means that I'm potentially missing out on some higher level stuff later. Didn't do enough. Uh, I don't use hunting rifles, so that's not actually a win for me. But oh well. <clears throat> yeah, going back, actually do this quest. Fortunately, I didn't lose progress. Just need to keep working on clearing uh, this area out. I guess it just goes to show that the angle at which you approach a corridor typically has a lot to do with D-I-D-I-M-E, zero, nice. possible, yep. The angle at which you move through the world often influences what you're going to spot. A little bit of free XP there. Where do you grab that stuff? Okay, back in, into the hole. All this bones, I believe, for some reason they break down to fertilizer. Oops. Okay. Again, it is wonderful to have a low recoil, reasonably high ammo gun. Excellent. I'll use this opportunity to flush my terrible I don't think we're no We may have found that's the last of them. Sweet. Yeah, I definitely need to make sure that I get some hits in if I want to get any XP for this stuff. It's interesting to compare this to how 
uh, Skyrim works, where it's the swinging of the weapon rather than the kill that counts. So with there, you never ne really need to worry about stolen kills. Ah, burnt stuff. Wow. This kind of tells a story. It's weird. Teddy bears and bone cutters and teddy bears. I guess they're acting out a surgery scene. Somebody had a sense of humor. Both at Bethesda and an imaginary person in the world of this game. Don't push. Don't push. Ugh. I hate that. It's really, really annoying that companions will push you. Okay, so we must have missed some representative foe over in this direction. So that is where our quest marker is pointing us. Okay, let's turn out the light. I guess I never really needed that light anyhow. got him, but unfortunately it told some other foes apparently where we are. See what thrown weapon we have equipped. We have Molotovs. That will do. Okay. We want to make sure that we have... Perhaps it's just my proximity sensors but something feels very wrong here. No, well, that's entirely sensible. Always want to make sure that you have a good flea path ready for you. Oops, did not mean to do that. And we have an angry glowing one. Actually, we're going to switch up. Oh, no. Okay. Sweet. Got him. Very well. Some combination of me and her got him. Yeah, glowing ones are annoying because I think they can bring back ghouls that haven't lost a limb. Uh, I think they can bring them back to life. Oop, this is an irradiated place. But never pass up a steamer trunk if you uh, if you can avoid it. Not quite sure where these rads are coming from. Yes. And anything pipe, you should be a little bit worried of picking up. Okay, definitely an irradiated place. But okay, and we're gonna try and exit through the other side, because I think that will give us something else for a map marker. One of the quirks of the Fallout game engine is that because the foes of enemies are containers and because you can blow enemies into little bits, you can actually stuff a whole lot of stuff into the body of a foe and then grab their hand and carry it very long distances and use that as a kind of container. Because when you're carrying things outside your infantry, you don't count against your weight limit which makes absolutely no sense, but... Yeah. And there's another game engine quirk, because the game thinks... Because the, those things aren't fully at rest, the game thinks that they're, they should generate some push. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it, it, did, it does have spikes going through it. Really sure how that would have happened. Maybe some kind of explosive weapon could have tossed the ghoul in through there. Ah, sea captain's hat. I think those. If you remember right? That's if you actually. Any spare parts, you'll be sure let me know. I think the sea captain's hat is actually a very nice hat to wear because it gives you some extra endurance. Let's see. See Captain's Hat? Yeah, two Endurance. That actually works out to be a lot of extra HP, but 
I have something that gives me intelligence, and I'm just going for totally crazy intelligence with this character. So I'm going to skip it, even though it's not, it's probably not actually the wisest uh, thing to do. Uh, where is Ada? I would like to give her some of my other stuff. And I'm going to keep grabbing stuff. Bowling balls are fairly rare. There hey, we go. Glad to be of service. Now, we just want to get this down to the point where we could then go and drop off some uh, some of our stuff elsewhere. I guess Overland. We are going to be linking up our settlements reasonably soon. I don't remember if we got the perks to do that yet. If not, we will get uh, those perks soon. And that fence is in one. And that hits us down to 184. Hey. What can I do for you? Take all the stuff. Can get down to 184. Drop off. It does 27 damage. Okay, 31. Gamma guns, they're really weird weapons. They're only really useful against humans. Um, I don't tend to use them because it turns out that a whole lot of the time in Fallout 4 you're fighting not uh, things that are not human and they're often immune to radiation. Um, That sea captain's head, I don't want to lose track of it, because when I have a human companion again, I'm probably going to give it to them. I mean, the other benefit of it is it makes them look absolutely ridiculous. Uh, ordinarily, I like to keep my quantum in one place, because there is something much later I tend to do with it. Actually. We'll grab those back. Okay, so now we let's head over to the Cambridge Police Station and report that we cleared out that area because the next place that we go might be on our way. A whole lot of the principles of adventuring uh, efficiently come down to trying to do uh, conveniently do a whole lot of things at once, which is also generally good life advice. And I heard a gunshot over there. But also being very deliberate in what you end up carrying when you can't carry everything. It just comes down to trying to make the smartest decisions and use and do everything the most efficiently that you would like to do. Which, amusingly, is not always what you want to do in life, because sometimes you that will make things less fun. Affirmative. Keep it up, and I may start. Mm -hmm. The Commonwealth won't be running out of vermin any whenever you're ready for another op. Sure. I'm ready. You better be. I'll mark the location. See you in the tunnel. Okay. It can be so Next hard to find artifacts these days. Oh, that's... I believe that that's another... That's another thing that I, I can't do yet. So we're going to unmark that. We're not going to be able to do any more quests for the Brotherhood of Steel for a while. Maybe not ever. Um, because Once by the time we get, a, get around to problem. reaching those areas, we may no longer be on good terms with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'll, we'll find out. So, next stop is General Atomics, where we're going to be doing some more robot stuff. I feel a little bit weird doing anything at all with Data, because, again, I like to always be building um, building affinity with a companion, and you can't build any affinity with her. So, she adventuring with her is not a great use of your affinity time. But at the same time, she is, once you get her decked out a little bit, she is a really fun companion because she 
you, you basically choose all her weapons uh, for her and you don't need to worry about ammo, which kind of like a perfect combo. Uh, combo. Okay, so we're heading east. Uh, a sniper rifle is probably the right thing for me right now. Always have to be careful. Ooh. Okay, Swan is extraordinarily dangerous. He is a gigantic super mutant. Uh, the Boylston Club. We're going in here just because I had forgotten that it, uh, I never can remember where this place is, but I believe this is the place where uh, your character's husband was going to be giving a talk. Or if you're playing the male version, then it's where you were going to, uh, where you were prepping to go give a talk, I think, the following day. And this is, I think, where a whole bunch of veterans and stuff are. Poisoned one. Yep, you can see a whole bunch of people were drinking wine. Or poison wine. And let's see what's on the terminal. I think this might be G-I-V-E-N. And now it's nothing will have an E in the second last thing, so this has to be it, I think. There we go. So your character really was quite well to do. Although if you're owning a house in uh, in Boston, then you're almost certainly quite well to do. It's closing time, gentlemen. If any of you have changed your mind, it's time to go. James will see you out. No one. Very well. Gentlemen. I'll grab that for later. So I think they, they knew that the world was about to go to hell. And so they came here to die together. Which is... I mean, if you know that you're going to go, then I suppose it makes sense to do it with friends and maybe in a way of your own choosing. And it looks like the poison wine was the way that they chose to go. I'm not sure if, if I would choose to, to go that way. But at the same time, I haven't ever been in a circumstance where I knew that I was going to die in short order, obviously, since I'm uh, talking to you. There have been times when I thought it was quite likely. I'm not going to go into that too much. But uh, but yeah, to know for sure, I guess it would make sense to... Uh, I don't know. It, it might make sense. I'm not really sure if everybody would see this the same way, but... It's actually all that there is to do, just loot some stuff, but... Going down. Yeah, it's it's interesting, I, and there's no enemies in there, which can have a nice respite from dealing with the common war, uh, Commonwealth. Presumably that burnt book was a membership a membership book. And I guess in the world of the Fallout universe, actually, that amount of money is not... It's not particularly significant. So maybe it's, uh, well, I, wouldn't, I shouldn't say that. It'll only cut out people of poor to middling wealth. Like anybody who's even somewhat well-to-do is going to be able to afford that. Because uh, hyperinflation has happened in this uh, universe. Okay, there's Boston Common. And here is Person. Let's see porn letter. I usually don't do this, but let's see what he... He had a note not to go into the comment. Probably because of Swan. What the fuck was that? Oh, and there are raiders nearby. They really did see, and there are super missions today. Oh, 
speed. I really did not handle this well. I was hoping that the raiders and the, and the super mutants could fight, but I didn't manage to arrange them so that that was good. Does, do not walk in front of him. Damn it. It's always... Yeah, in, in this game, your allies are never, ever intelligent about trying not to walk in front of you. And it is super frustrating. Well, they provoked the fight. I will have to go and end the fight. Okay. It's always nice when you can grab a stim pack and you don't spend a stim pack. The combat zone. Uh, for some reason, I think we had this on our map despite not having gotten close enough to, to mark it. But yeah, we will have some business here later. But for now, we're trying to go southeast. Is this door open? No, it's a pretty fancy looking door, though. And let's save because I think it's been a while and I don't like to go too long without saving. Because this is by no means acting like a no deaths uh, let's play. Okay. Medical center. Uh, we might have some business there later. I don't really remember. I'm not the store. Yes. I've never been this way before. I don't remember. Hey. Did I say hey, or did somebody else say hey? Maybe I said hey. What the? Okay, gunners. That is not good. They tend to be significantly better armed, and they're up that way. Significantly better armed than raiders. They are probably in one to... Okay, yeah. It's definitely... Raider territory, because they tend to be the ones that have this. That tend to have uh, this uh, this use of barriers. We might have caught them when very few people were at home, because ordinarily they they don't come in uh, such low numbers like this. Either that or the game is feeling sorry for me because I'm very low level. And it scaled down a major presence into one foe. Okay, so... Where are we? So it's just about straight ahead from where we are now. Probably all sorts of other stuff going on. But we are going to just try and make a beeline for where, where we want to be because this is an area that's maybe a little bit dangerous uh, for us. And it would be... oh. Oh! Interesting. Never been this close to birds in the Fallout universe before. Or at least not to my recollection. I've at least never noticed them that much before. Ah, you are a fast swimmer in this game. Very fast. It's probably an anti-boredom feature. So this is interesting. All sorts of shipping carts lined up. This would be a very dangerous place to be purely out of informational uh, asymmetry. Okay. Fish packing plant. There's some foe over there. It is a ghoul. cannot get at it from this angle, but I will just leave it be. And I hope the birds are not following us, because that would kind of give us away. So I'm pretty sure that that's not how things actually work in here. Okay, dead raider. Let's go see what that dead raider had. A whole treated leather. Um, that be something we'd wear. Always happy to have a plasma grenade. I think hunting rifles are actually one of those very poor uh, weight to value ratio things. 
would not be worth carrying. Whoa! That's probably that very same uh, ghoul. Don't fall, don't fall. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm not gonna go in. Oh, but there really are quite a lot of these guys. I'm gonna hop up to make it hard for them to get me. Ada has fallen into the water. Oh! That is freaky. Very freaky. Uh oh, there's another one nearby. I can hear it. I can't see it. Hmm. That is annoying. Here we are, General Atomics. And we got enough experience from adding another item to our map that we gained a level. So let's see what we can do with that. Uh, can't do done that. Can't do scra uh, second level of Scrapper yet. Um, could do Science, which is kind of tempting. Uh, could do armor. I think armor would make the most sense because, again, directly impacts how well you're going to be able to survive. Anymore. How are we doing on weight? We're at 169 to 250. This is a fairly the loot in this area, I think, is, is quite high, but I'm going to at least get started on this area. an extremely dangerous area for somebody with uh, of my level, apparently. And I completely underestimated how this goes. Let's get rid of our radiation. Immediately switch to a better weapon. And see if we can somehow manage to not draw quite as many foes at us at once this time. Oh, people coming down the stairs. That's not good. Okay, well that that at least worked a little bit better. Okay, so what we're gonna do is try using a pulse mark. Which almost killed us. But we are still alive. a second to go back up. Whoa! Something exploded. Okay, so we are still... We're not dead yet, and we've done some scores and kills. It's a win of sorts. Unlocked another mod. Okay. 
and this whole area seems to be kind of radioactive. That is annoying. If we're careful, I suspect we can make it through here. Okay, Soltron Torso. That's a win. What else did we blow up? Okay, so legendary swarm bot? No. Junk bot. Something's firing at us. Aha! Well, if it holds them off from that angle, I will see if I can sneak up from this angle. I'm not... I don't remember the layout of this place, though, so... It's possible that I'm just leaving my ally up to dry. Which, given that they can't die, I'm not going to feel too bad about. Perfect. That is nice, but... I think the other thing is that I don't have any energy weapons, and I think energy weapons do a lot better against robots than, uh, than uh, traditional weapons. Nice. I always have to be ready to sprint out of here if I find that I've made a misstep. And it's very well might turn out that I did. Okay. Kincaid's terminal. I'm not sure what this can do for us. So it's just oh, uh oh. Okay. So there is oh over there somewhere. There they are. Let's see if I can manage to do a little bit of sniping. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of them. Can I... No, I cannot. to the head should at least chill things out a little bit, but yeah, this is definitely a... I need to be super careful how I manage this. And maybe I'll save a lot. Because I have probably bitten off considerable more than I can chew. There's more stuff over here. Let's take a quick peek. Uh, bathrooms. Usually, again, they try and make it in Fallout so that going into the bathrooms is always going to get you something. I'm not sure why they do that. door, which uh, is not initially open. Okay, that is fine. We will proceed. Very carefully. Through here. And we're going to screw things up. Don't push me, Ada. Ada. Take a look. Here. I'll take care of it. Get in there. Draw their fire. Let's go. No problem. Get him. I'll get it done. Okay. Fine. See if we can productively to here. I think 
Wow, that is one of the most obvious statements. Okay. Let's see if we can blast out its thruster. Sweet, and then Ada finished it off. Okay, so this is actually going okay so far. I think it could go south very quickly we're not careful but at least for right now all these terminals are busted hmm which means this door is not going to open for us maybe there's nothing in there that I need anyhow okay so, should we go upstairs? It is possible to walk on those, um, those uh, conveyor belt thingies, but it's easy to fall off. And while you won't take any damage from falling just that short distance, unlike in real life, uh, it's kind of annoying, so I'm trying not to do too much of it. I may not actually have a huge choice here. This is probably the easiest way to sneak up. Get a few shots in, maybe. Other brain torso. Okay. So. Not seeing any more robots immediately. Ooh. Ooh, very, very radioactive. Yeah, so much in Fallout is really about being able to get through locked doors and hack terminals. And that your experience is going to be totally different if you never take uh, those skills. Probably not particularly satisfactory. Come on. Got it. Just in case that thing can reach us, I want to be ready to deal it some nice damage to short notice. Unfortunately, I'm now encumbered, so I can't move very quickly. It's like this is, these are stairs up and down. If Ada would care to join me, I will give her some of this stuff. stuff up. Probably right, yeah. Sweet. So if you if you were to listen to the things that the robots are babbling about, they're talking about uh, peace while killing, which seems to be a, a trope, pretty common trope in this kind of uh, science fiction environment. I remember in Star Control 2 they had uh, a, uh, they had space probes. Uh, they were called the Slylandro probes that would um, move through space and talk about uh, peace and harmony and communication and stuff. And then they would uh, babble about a programming bug and then try and kill you. I'm not sure if it can shoot through the door here or not. It can definitely see me. I think it can't open the door because I am not particularly mobile and I would probably be a sitting duck.
Yes. Oh, all that effort gets to right away. Hopefully you can't get me. Hopefully you can't get me. Let me wish you over up here. Oops, very radioactive again. Not a good place to be. Okay, this particular place is not so radioactive. Oh, come on. Figure it out. Command. C O M N A N D S. This is possible. There we go. Oh. Well, that's a useless terminal. Oh. And I am vulnerable to shots. Let's see if I can lob a grenade down there. I want a pulse gun, actually. are just pretty uh, amazingly good against me right now. I wonder if I can fire a regular grenade down there and if that would uh, do the job of... Oh, there we go. That is exactly what I want to happen. Got him. I think that there's nothing left down there. Live after that. Oh, no, there is that. Can I hit it? Maybe I can. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Killed everything. Awesome. This room still is a lot more radioactive than I would like, and I'm still overloaded, and I would still really appreciate if Ada would somehow actually get in here so that I can give her some of my stuff to lighten my load. Maybe this door will do that for me. What is the radioactive part of this room? I don't see it. Maybe it's below the room. Something is radioactive nearby. Let's see. Muffled treated leather left leg. They're actually very similar. Okay, that definitely did not bring us beneath the weight limit. A little bit annoying, but let's see if we can buy this radioactive area. Whoa, 28. Holy damn, that is kind of impressive how damaging it is. Still no Ada. Where is she? I can hear her talking. Oh, maybe she's she's stuck behind a door way over there. Ah, that is super, super annoying. Used oil can. Well, that gives you a little bit of oil, which is kind of important. Let's make our way over here, so just to lighten our load. A lot of good stuff here. 
I guess she wasn't really up for the adventure of climbing up into the ceiling. But that is a grimy looking screen. It's another thing I, I don't really remember seeing before. Oh, oh okay, yeah, this is possible. Sweet. Yeah, with my character's intelligence so high, usually it just means that if something's plausible, it's going to be the password. Okay, Ada, get over here. I need you to carry stuff. Hey, I'd be happy to help if I can. Let's take a look at what you've got. Ah, thank goodness. I'm looking forward to modding her up into being even more awesome. Sweet. Now I can move fast again, and she has a clear path to follow me. Which hopefully she will do. Um, so I want to quickly solve the mystery of what is it that's uh, so radioactive? Come on. Greetings, Unit 761. Welcome to the General Atomics Quality Assurance Department. We assure your functionality is up to our highest Oh, something is mistaken me for a robot. Hey. Sir, did you retrieve something from that robot? Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis, I suspect it's helped no. as the next logical step. I share your sentiment. Mm -hmm. You'll need to use a rope to maintain PP. Okay, so Ada wants that little piece that we scavenged off the robot. First, we must test your disciplinary and behavioral management skills. A quality assurance associate will be playing the role of your hypothetical charge, Little Timmy. Little Timmy has broken a valuable vase while playing catch in the house. The vase is a family heirloom, and it is quite irreplaceable. Please, punish the child according to child. Well, where is the child? Punish the child. Do not see a child. Please, punish Timmy. Okay, they are asking us to punish a child. The child needs well, Where is the child? I do not see a child. Entirely possible that I'm not really sure what it's asking us to do. Punish the child. And it's a little bit creepy hearing it say punish the child, but the child is Hmm. Yep, definitely weird. Fantastic. The appropriate punishment was separation of the child from any potential source of entertainment. And please remember, corporal punishment is strictly forbidden unless the user enables it in your configuration mode. Please proceed into the second test chamber. Okay, we're doing some robot tests. A proper mismanaged unit must be able to identify the needs of our charges. Please assess the state of the crying child and fulfill its needs. Wow. Wow. Correct. The child was under. Your vocal tonality analysis programming seems to be in working order. Please take this opportunity to reconfirm that any deprecated muffling procedures are not left in your programming. Muffling? Wow. And please proceed into the third testing creepy. chamber. Oh, test baby. Huh. And this baby is a container. Well, it's implemented as a container. That is pretty bizarre. We will now test your hazard detection matrices. 
Please try to move this environment by moving any hazardous object to where little ants cannot reach. Please eliminate any potential tool of self-harm. Okay, but here could be dangerous to a baby. basically asking us to loot anything dangerous, I think. Saucer and teacup. I don't know if we actually need to remove this much, but... What else in the room would be dangerous for a child? I, I don't really know why I'm doing this. But it, it's kind of amusing. Oh, what is that doing in here? Wow. Damn. Yeah. Um, hmm. Are there other things in here that would not be safe for a kid? Any hazardous objects. Hmm. I think we've removed pretty much every object, period, in here. Right? Uh, Ada, do, do you The robot workbench is a powerful tool, allowing even the simplest of minds to create complex robots. Okay, so we grab the oven mitt. This place really is filthy. You, you would be worried about a robot that left things in this condition. Hazardous objects. I, I, don't, I don't see any objects left, period. I think we've grabbed everything. Anything in here? Yeah, okay. Epic. Uh, oh, fridge door, empty. Cabinet, empty. There's a camera there, which is probably observing us. Yeah, there really, there's nothing left in this room. Are we done? Can we just leave? Any hazardous objects? Terminal somewhere. Hmm. Okay. We'll do one last pass through of the room, but I really don't see anything. Trash can. Nope. We might have hit a bug. Maybe an object is stuck somewhere. Please yeah. eliminate any potential tool of self harm. These are not containers. Probably would actually like to put that away, but you can't. It's part of the. Um, there's just nothing left in this part. Yeah, whatever it was, it probably somehow got lost. Oh wait, a just for range. All potentially fatal objects have been put out of a child's reach. Please remember, children have a penchant for finding ways to arm themselves. They never are truly safe. Absolute diligence is required. Congratulations! It appears you are fully functional and ready to return to service. Please take a replacement fusion core from the safe in the hallway on your way out. Okay. Wow, three feet from four. Very nice. I think this just leads us back to... Yeah, this leads us... This was that third door near the bathroom on the way in. Okay, so we actually have managed to loot this whole area with the help of our, uh, with the help of Ada. And I think we, we've got everything that we wanted. At least everything that we could. And we have a few new bits of gear that we can graft onto Ada when we get uh, back. Including the quest advancing one. The one downside of this DLC is that once you 
start this series of quests, then all your settlements will start to be attacked by robots every so often. Which is kind of a mixed mixed bag, really. Uh, we might do a little bit of curtain call. Let's see. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Are you ready to install the radar beacon? Does it have to be you? My memory contains more. I appreciate your concern. So. It's time. Let's do this. Good. The instant. Once I'm in the robot. Okay. So Ada wants to have a mod installed. Well, we're going to head back to Red Rocket, both because it's where we're, we generally like to drop off our stuff, and because uh, we need to install that mod, and because we have a whole bunch of other mods that we can at least consider installing on her. Wow, we have arrived in the midst of Redstone. That is annoying. Really, the only thing you can do with those is to sleep through them. Or travel somewhere else or something. They're just apparently a permanent feature of the weather now. Which is incredibly nasty. Ada. Hello. What's up? Let's take all this stuff. Store it all. And... Yeah, we can drop off all the weapons and stuff. Eventually, we're going to start switching to selling more valuable ones of these, rather than uh, decomposing them. Yeah, sea Captain's Hat. Going to definitely give that to a companion at some point. If I were paying a little bit more attention, I wouldn't have all this uh, pre-war food that's now badly irradiated. But... Apparently, I think this has happened when you do a bulk retrieval from a safe that you've unlocked or something like that. I think at least for right now, as a general rule, I would like to always leave settlements like down at 90 pounds or so. Unless I really start having a great reason to carry around. Um, the heavier weights, like maybe a nice new weapon or something like that. But I, I don't like uh, lugging around tons and tons of stuff because, again, I need to loot stuff usually. Let's see, is any of this way anything? Oh, that's a prop. I'm not going to be able to get rid of it for a while. Oh, the mods. Yeah, and that helps. Okay, so for Ada, she wanted the radar beacon installed. Let's see what else we can do for her. We do not have perks needed to build. This is a, a actually a pretty nice mod. Um, it she can't really deal with long distance threats that well, but the assault on head laser is incredibly powerful. This increases the health a little bit, but we, her Assaultron Forcer was already armored. I'm going to do this anyhow, because I think I might be able to get her armor back up to a nice place. Yep. Now, the really, really nice thing here is the regeneration field, but you have to get robotics expert and science both up to two. And uh, I, I have science at one, but it's going to be a while before I can manage that. The best I can do, best I can do. Uh, now, this is the reason why you want to take science up further. It opens up all the really nice uh, weapons and stuff. So this is the this laser is a stock thing. Let's see. Yeah, actually there's not a lot that we were able to do for her. Heads up. What can I do? A moment. 
The modification Look was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong... Mm -hmm. It's a good start. Absolutely. With some additional... Fortunately, I'm... Finally. Perhaps. But the encryption on the source... Uh -huh. If you can bring me to... Okay. So basically... All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I'm uploading the loop. Just be careful. So we have something else to do. Uh, fists are probably not the right weapon. They really are. Okay, so headhunting is another hunting expedition. But I think for right now we're going to go for... We're going to briefly swing by Good Neighbor and talk with Kent. Um, so we, we ended up missing this content. Uh, in, kind of intentionally, I think I mentioned I turned off, turned the radio volume all the way down. Partly because they kind of talk over me, and that's not a great thing for a podcast. Oh, yeah, I should get my rads down. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that'll do. But the downside here is that it means that... Uh, hey, you. you you like scary stories? Head up yeah. to Salem sometime. Take the scenic tour. <laughs> huh. That's creepy. But yeah, basically there's this weird old guy who is a fanatic about a um, old radio uh, series. I think you stepped into the wrong place, sweetheart. And he's broadcasting on the radio. <clears throat> Good neighbors crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. I hear you. It's rough in the best of... You ever listen to the silver... My family and I used to... You mean when they first aired? I was... Oh, man, that's amazing. Right. Wasn't he a kid? Yeah, that's the one. Boy, if you just woke up. That's an understatement. Things may look bad. Uh -huh. What if the silver shroud will... Uh -huh. I got a plan to bring him to life. Good on you for trying to... I just have to do something. Mm -hmm. I've built my own custom, but to make this work? And they actually got one here in... As it happens. There she is. Pretty as the Pope. And memorabilia, too? Here you go. After all these years, the... I'm just not silver shroud. Uh -huh. Don't sell your I got a better right. You up for being the Silver Shroud? Right. Looks like I don't The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good news, sir. So this is not a particularly good uh, armor, largely because Here's it prevents you from wearing most of the other armor. When you dispatch just time to fight crap. Ha, huh. he, he's really kind of a hand. Yeah, it, it stops you from wearing your other armor, which is really why it's not particularly great. It does look incredibly cool. But at the same time, if it prevents you from wearing everything else, then uh, just the loss... You, you actually are less armored with it than you are when you take all the other armor that you could be wearing as a whole. Even if it considered as a unified thing, is better than anything else you're likely to have, at least at this level. So, I'm going to turn that off for now. But we will attempt... Uh, headhunting probably makes... Oh, that is... We haven't been in this area yet. But maybe that's a good thing. The opportunity to put more stuff on our map. It's probably good. Okay, so we want to head more or less southwest of here. And as always, we're going to have to be pretty careful. So, 
Is there anything up there? No, I, we're, we're heading this way, not that way. If and when we spot other things that we can mark, mark on our map on the way, all the better. Straight ahead, there's a star thing, which usually, I think, indicates a military base of some kind. Probably a good place to know about. Oh! Rust Devils. Okay, this is going to be interesting. They are probably better armed than we are. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not. Or at least... So look, it doesn't sound like you lost them. Aha. So that might have taken care of them. Again, the cars in this game are ludicrously explosive. We may have some trouble. Yeah. But we didn't get them off. There we go. Oh, wow, that was a weird bounce. Really weird bounce. Definitely a reason to travel with the companion if you can. Oh, that is a sentry bot, not a foe that I am even remotely ready to deal with. If it would be so good as to turn around. Oh, it did us the, the joy of going after, of getting into combat with our. Oh, that is. So it is doing one of some of our fighting for us, which is wonderful, since generally when two of your foes fight, provided that none of them gets permanent advantage, then you win. But it is just so much more dangerous than anything else that you're likely to face. That... Ooh, wow. Ooh. Interesting. where those are that are still firing at us. Somebody is. Okay. We're careful we can pick some more of these guys off. Oh yeah, let's turn off our light. There's no way that they can fail to spot us if we are lit up like a Christmas tree. I wonder where that robot ended up. Because usually those have some most excellent loot. Uh, suicider, awesome. Stubble, awesome. Gigantic explosion. Yeah, but somewhere around here, that the remains of that robot. There it is. Yeah, the the sentry bots. The loot on them is, is really pretty uh, pretty great. Guy, and I'm just hoping that nothing is going up to me manually. Uh, up clumsily slapping my keyboard stand there. Well, what is that? Oh, this is um, 
a vertebrate. It's not in great shape. But, yeah, and vertebrates, they're a particular model of helicopter in the Fallout games. Okay, well, I did not actually mean to come this way. But it turned out to be accidentally kind of nice. Bobby pins, rad axe. That's one of the things I, I just, I, I really think is well done about the Fallout world. You can be super businessy and go directly where you want to go. But if you're willing to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of open exploration, usually you'll, you'll have a good time. Okay, so this is another police station. Generated. Okay, one in common. G E N E R A T E D. This is plausible. Nope. G E N E R A T E D. Uh, nope. G E N E R. This is plausible, I think. No. Attention. No. I'm going to back off so that I don't get locked out. And try again. Batteries. B A T T E. Nope. B A T. Nope. B A T T E R I E S. Nope, that has zero in common. We need something with one in common. B A T I E S is two. I think this is gonna be a one then. Okay, come on. Very nice. So this is an ar armory of sorts before the war, presumably. So that means there's going to be good stuff for you. Or actually, it may have been a place where you had some poor sod sitting back here, just uh, having the job of handing out weapons to people who need them and keeping track of them and all that. Burser, I think? Yes. Mr. a weapons burser. Anyhow, that's all that needs to happen here. And it's a jail. Yes. Ooh, more damage with scoped weapons. That is actually quite useful for us. I'm not sure. I thought we unlocked a few different places while here. And I would have expected there to have been... One of those Eddie Winter thingies. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got it. I remember right the reason that we were in this area was to. Let's do uh, some more of the robot-related quests. I think we need to hunt down robo-brains. There might have been a way up onto the ceiling, because that's where the super mutants are. Ah, over here. The stairs are not intact. But the super mutants figured out a way to get up here anyhow. Jeez. In a sense, they're another take on humanity. And that initially they're more ingenious just because they desire things and will keep on trying to get them. And then later on, presumably, they would keep on finding better ways to do it, and then you'd kind of have this birth of science thing going on. Steamertron. Sweet. Ah, sea captain's hat. We still have a good ways to go to make our way out. Oh, we really went out of our way then. These life preservers... There's not an endless 
variety of ways to get um, get plastics in the game. Swim across this radio station looking place. Also save because we haven't done it in a while. This is another place that I don't remember and I'm not sure I've ever been. Let's find out what's in here. Oh. Rex sounds like he's gotten himself in trouble again. Yes, he's in quite a pickle. Is that some kind of pun about... I appreciate the attempt at level... Sure. For the tenth time, yes. What do you want me to do about it? Those super mutants would kill me in seconds. Rex got himself into this mess. He'll have to figure out how to get out of it. <clears throat> Rex sounds like he's gotten himself into trouble. Oh, okay. So this is actually another corner of the quest. Yeah, I'm quite sure I've never been here before. So these are weirdo radio people, apparently. Such a senseless waste of perfectly peace. Good technology. Oh, this is slightly useful. Ten pounds is not actually all that much, but it's something. They actually have a pretty nice setup here. George and Rex and I run this radio station. <clears throat> I'm worried about Rex. Those super mutants are so brutal. Okay, so curtain call. I think I was thinking about going and doing it, and this happens to be where that stuff is based. I have I have never been here before, so yeah, it's fascinating to actually see. That's where. Uh, well, we'll see more of that quest in, in later Let's Plays. For now, let's continue on the, on the robot stuff. But I guess what this really means is that they have a little pseudo-settlement, the three of them, where they just live out, uh, alone out here in the middle of nowhere, and they do radio stuff. Maybe they deal with traders. But Shakespeare-obsessed Fanatics. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Shoot a ghoul from a very long distance. Okay, we're getting near where this robo brain is hanging out. We do have to be careful because they tend to travel. They tend not to travel alone. Find anything useful? Oh, wow. Levitating tire. That is a glitch. But an amusing one. And we can fix it by grabbing it and dropping it onto the ground. What is oh I thought that was a person for a second, but it's just a bush. Something going on there. Oh, wow. Oh, Ow. who is fighting who? Oh, they're fighting settlers. Okay. Well, if we can save some settlers, that, is, that would be pretty nice. Here. We are a little bit squishy. If we do this carefully, it would help to keep the game. Okay, and also would help if we had enough health to. Okay, we won't. The Ada's gonna help. We'll go from that angle. We'll go. Okay, so 
that's one server who hopefully will stay alive. Gone. Glad to help. You're one of the good. You wouldn't happen to know of any good. I sure do. Okay, so we can send some settlers out somewhere. Let's send, have these people join our, join us at, um, they should go to Red Rocket. Thanks. Okay. See you there in a day or two. Since I think we can handle a few more settlers there. We did take some damage to our limbs because we're swaying. But that is fine. They're going to head out. And we have some robots to loot. Some of which might give us some stuff that we can enhance Ada with. Maybe. It'd be nice if the more mops you had in a place, the more your settlers would clean stuff up. But I think just part this is an area where the where the game goes more for theming than it goes for things making sense. In that they the game is kinda of designed to shout we are after an apocalypse. We're definitely after an apocalypse. So actually having people clean stuff up would kind of break that theming, even though the theming is utterly uh, fake to the extent that it's uh, pushed this hard. And so that's probably why it doesn't happen. Like anybody in real life in this camp environment would probably, if, if they're spending their entire days in, in a place, they're going to sweep. They're going to pick up clutter and move it out. And they're going to try and get, like, all the sharp edges that, that they could get cut on and dump them far away from where they're living, where they're stumbling, sleeping, going to, uh, heading towards the bathroom. Where all this, all the bits of their daily life, that's a little bit weird to have this mounted on wood. But yeah, where all the bits of their daily life, they're going to try and move the danger out because that's what people do. That's what it means to civilize a place. And so they're not going to want to live in a world where everything looks like an apocalypse happened. They're not going to want to be in a world that's obsessed about the past. They're going to be building a new world and making that reality what they want, slowly. And there might be a little bit of an anti-impetus to do that, and that raiders might think, oh, this is nice. I'm going to take your land because it looks like a pleasant place. But that's not going to be all the time, and they're going to have good reasons to fight raiders taking their stuff anyhow. So, but but again, for the sense, uh, for the sake of theming the game, it makes sense for them to, for Bethesda to try and keep the oh, something fell from above. Anyhow, can I here you go, Ada. Ada. One. This will do nicely, and with any luck. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Don't worry. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my in the meantime. Good work, Ada. Thank you. If, oh, this isn't good. The robo brain is at Fort Hay. Doesn't sound like anything, a little lemon juice and some... It's going to take something a bit. My old caravan. The Rust Devils are... They scour the Commonwealth looking for me. I realize they pose a... That being said, despite what lies ahead, I can... Okay, so this is a little disheartening because I don't think my character is strong enough right now to go and do that quest. This is one of those things where I just we might have to come back to wrap up that quest. So I think what I'm going to do is drop Ada off at Red Rocket. and switch back to McCready and continue gaining uh, favor with him 
And then when I think I've gotten my armor and weapons up to snuff enough that I have any reasonable chance of surviving that quest, then I will switch back. But it's just, we're not there right now. We're just... Hey. So, let's see. I gotta be honest with you. Let's drop off our stuff. Um, oh, we actually accidentally picked up an amazing weapon here. This ignores some damage and energy resistance. Uh, this is a unique weapon that we definitely are... We're going to switch to. We need to get it up to being... Close to being as nice as our current weapon. But that really won't take a lot. Because it's built... It's intrinsic awesomeness is quite high. For a sea captain's hat, we might actually put that on... McCready. Can we pop off? No, we can't take... We can't put down our Silver Shroud stuff yet. For the vault lab coat, we might actually switch to using this if we can wear other armor with it. And... I feel more comfortable with it. Anyhow, I, I think we are... Hey there. <laughs> there you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Time to hit the road. Finally came to your sense. Uh -huh. Okay, so Ada... Ada is going to stay at Red Rocket. Oh. And McCready is now our companion. In between episodes, I'm going to do a lot of work on my gear and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do next. Uh, we're going to, with McCready, probably go and do Curtain Call. Maybe a few other things. Um... Not sure which of these. A lot of these other things are designed to get you companions. And I would like to get McCready maxed out before we think about switching companions. But at the same time, unlocking them for later use would be perfectly sensible. Uh, but yeah, I, I think... Uh, let's also just pop off and see if the game has anything to give us for... It's a far cry from working with the gunners. Glad that's behind me. We're going to quickly see if the game is going to toss us anything, any encounters over here. Okay, just some wild dogs. I'm feeling eyes on my back. Oh. Didn't do a kill. I I missed. Meat made from dogs is actually... Pretty handy. Oh, and that leveled us up, which is fantastic. It's another perk is always nice to have. Let's go fetch the uh, meat from the dogs here, because that will give us more stuff to cook. Which in turn gives us more experience and more stuff to eat when we're out on the road. Again, you'll notice I tend to leave uh, Sanctuary Hills alone. I figure my character is kind of nostalgic about uh, where she lived, and it would be just a little bit too emotionally scarring. Oh, another quest opened up, Baltech Colony. I think for now that's another thing where... Well, let's at least do the radio tuning so that we can get the quest. We're not going to hear it, but it's good to... to get the quests so that you don't forget that they're uh, out there and to make it easier to uh, to do stuff with it later. Oh yeah, and let's take a look. Um, can't do gun map, uh, gun map up to level 3. Uh, hacker, we can never get that quest. For the lock picking one, I think that's uh, we never take that uh, up higher. Uh, armor. I usually eventually will take that higher, but we're not ready yet. Blacksmith. I've started to occasionally take this up higher um, for my robots, but not yet. So I think what we're going to go for is probably science or robotics expert. Both of, both of these are quite useful. 
I think we're going to do robotics expert because it <coughs> can be nice to be able to turn off robots if you sneak up on them. And that's what this gives you. We are going to keep on boosting up science further. And while we were waiting, that actually, listening to the radio, unlocked the quest for us, but we're going to leave that alone for now. We might... I'll think about what I'm, I'm going to do in the next Let's Play uh, between the episodes, and I will have a plan, but for now, uh, we're not going to commit to that. So this has been um, episode 10 of my Let's Play for Fallout 4. Um, and I will see you whenever I have another episode. Bye.